Hey everyone, it's me, Web of Funkos. Welcome to my first long form video where I will be taking you with me to Dallas Fan Expo 2024, where I had the opportunity to meet Marissa Tommy, AKA Aunt May. So let's go. This was the first Fan Expo sign that I ran into, so I had to get it on video. But I love this view with the Dallas skyline in the background. This was the entrance to the convention that had the sign welcoming everyone in. And here to the right was the booth where you could purchase numerous exclusives such as Funko Pops, lanyards, pens, comic covers, and so much more. This is the entrance to the main exhibit hall. Now, this is Friday, the first day of Dallas Fan Expo. Since I had a three day badge, the convention started at four, but I was able to walk in at 2 p.m., which they call preview hours. So that's why you don't see a ton of people in this convention. But welcome on in to Dallas Fan Expo. You're greeted by tons of art, Funko Pops, comic books, action figures, and whatever else you can name. The first thing that caught my eye at the convention were the Spider-Man themed Xbox controllers. So big shout out to all my gamers but it doesn't stop there because they had a couple different custom PlayStation controllers as well. The next booth I came across had tons of comic books. However, they were really highlighting variant comic covers done by numerous artists and they had a ton of beautiful, beautiful Venom comic covers that I really did enjoy. I can always appreciate a great comic cover. They also had the Spider-Man 300 cover and numerous homage covers to it. I thought this was the best thing ever. I probably appreciated this more than I realistically should have, but hey, what can you do? Then when you walk inside of the booth, they had at least a hundred, if not more different Spider-Man comic covers and just variants. My favorite was the one where you can see the symbiote kind of coming through Spider-Man's original outfit shown right there on the screen. After walking through the convention just a little bit longer, I did come across a nice set of Spider-Man statuesque style figures, starting with that Spider-Punk and Iron Spider. That uh, black and white Spider-Man was also very neat to go along with Spider-Gwen, Miles, and Spider-Man 2099. I mean, you couldn't at this point get a more complete set if you were to make one. This original Spider-Man was very nice. And I will say one of my favorites was this Venom statue as well. Now, this is what they call the celebrity autograph area. And you can see how massive this area was. And realistically, this is what I came for. Now, since I collect Funko Pops, I always try my best to get some signed. And the first is going to be Nami, who's voiced by Lucy Christian. So here's that Nami Funko Pop after it's been signed by Lucy, which does say love and berries with the berry logo over Nami's eyes. The next pop I'm getting signed is this Samurai Brook, also from One Piece, who is voiced by Ian Sinclair. Super nice guy, let me say that. And here is Brooke, once it's been signed, that does say I'll work myself to the bone with his famous laugh on the side, of course. <laughs> the third pop I'm getting signed is Marco from One Piece. If you can't tell by now, I'm on a whole One Piece journey, but Marco is signed by Kyle Phillips. And this one does say, no matter how you attack, I'll restore my flame with the white beard logo on the side. And this is the 412th pop that he has signed. The last pop that I'm getting signed for today, at least, is Eustace Captain Kid, voiced by Justin Cook. This one does say I'll rule over the new era. And all of these quotes on every single pop you've seen so far, I actually picked out and asked them to write on the pop. Crunchyroll was there and they had this amazing Luffy Red Rock statue that I've been wanting for a while. So stay tuned to the end of the video if you wanna see that out of the box. Before ending my Friday, I decided to walk around a little bit more and look at some Funko Pops. Rod, this booth had a ton of different Spider-Man Pops that of course, you know I have, but I have to show it off for the channel. I am the Web of Funkos after all. And here's a chase of the Spider-Man in his black and gold suit and poison Spider-Man. They also had the Spider-Man versus Spider-Man meme moment, which in my opinion is one of the best Spider-Man pops out there and a Blacklight two pack. Behind me were some Spider-Man action figures 
from the Spider-Man 2 video game, the Japanese Spider-Man, and some more comic accurate Spider-Man action figures, along with the Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse figures as well. The next day. It's now Saturday and we're back at Dallas Fan Expo and you can see it is much more crowded today. It's usually a lot busier on a Saturday than a Friday since most people are off work, but this is a different entrance than what I showed yesterday. Wanted to just give you a different view of the convention. I'm back at the celebrity autograph area, but this time it's not anime. Can you guess? If you guessed Marissa Tommy, aka Aunt May, you were correct. There is everyone's favorite aunt, and the moment I started recording, everyone recognized the Web of Funkos. Okay, okay, that's a lie. I'm not actually that popular. Aww. This is just how strict security and the crew working at the convention can be about you not recording and taking pictures of a lot of these celebrities. But nevertheless, mission accomplished. Aunt May was the best, she was the sweetest. She wrote with great power, there must also come great responsibility and signed the side of my Funko Pop. So after crying some real tears of joy, we're back Funko Pop hunting. And this booth had a ton of different Funko Pops from the Spider-Man video game, across the Spider-Verse, No Way Home, and so much more. Across from that booth, this booth had a ton of different sign pops, but the one that stood out to me was this sign Golden Frieza that does say all hell Vegeta, Prince of no one. I didn't get it, but I wanted to show it to you. And the cool pops don't stop there. This booth also had a ton, but I noticed this sign Spider-Man by Drake Bell. I've never seen a Drake Bell sign Spider-Man pop before. I really contemplate it, but I decided to hold off. Here are a few neat little Spider-Man statues there with the black and gold suit from No Way Home, Spider-Man in his integrated suit, and another in the black and gold suit just kind of standing there on a light pole. This booth had some very colorful and amazing art, and I wanted to show off this Into the Spider-Verse Spider-Man piece, but check out how bright, colorful, and realistically trippy that this art was at the booth. Moving to some more art, I really enjoyed this Spider-Verse piece as well. I think it's custom, but very well done. And this standalone Peter Parker swinging through the city. And here I found a few different magnets that do have the original Spider-Man comic cover art on the magnets, which I thought was super unique and just wanted to show off. This is the inside of a t-shirt booth, which you can see they have t-shirts from comic books, anime, old TV shows, stuff I'm probably not even aware of to be quite honest with you, but they had a ton of shirts and hats. And had there been any ghost at the convention, the Ghostbusters Texas Rangers division were on the scene and prepared. There were a bunch of cool different Star Wars droids, ships, and look y'all, okay, I'm not a Star Wars fan, so I don't really know what I'm looking at, but I did find a lot of this very interesting and figured you might too, so I wanted to show it off. So just enjoy this short little segment of the different Star Wars stuff that I don't know what it is. A few moments later. I'm back home from the convention and here is one of the art prints that I got from the convention. It is Spy Family and here at the bottom, I did get the artist of the print to sign it. If you're into anime and haven't seen Spy Family, I would definitely recommend it as it is one of my favorite anime of all time. The next print that I got is this Gear 5 Luffy from the exact same artist as the Spy Family. And you know Luffy is one of my favorite characters, just period. So when I saw it, I had to get it. And speaking of Luffy, here's a closer out of box look at that Red Rock statue that I showed you earlier in the video that I got from the Crunchyroll booth at the convention. Leave a comment and let me know if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. If you enjoyed this one, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, I'm out of here.